Hello guys, good morning, good morning. It's me again, Ryan, and I'm back with a pretty good day trading recap. Today, I'm making a recap early because uh, I might end up over trading this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> because uh, I, I started with the red. Uh, I stopped out here. Uh, it was all out of FOMO. I know that it's, I have a feeling that it's gonna break 19, but it's a gap down stock. It started red. So it's kind of like maybe I don't want to have a bias that even it's gap down, I want to short it. But I shorted it out of FOMO. I thought it's going to drop, but I ended up wrong. And I decided really quickly before it squeeze, flip my position to long. Look at that. And I gained back all my loss. This one's just a small loss. As you can see here, um, I realized it's realized win is more than my realized loss so this this is my short trade uh lesser than my long trade and then i also gave back a little bit of profit here but it's still good it's not that much here but yeah it's, it was just funny because uh i promised myself today will, i will be really really careful because uh i've been green for the for the whole week last two weeks so yeah, uh, I just don't want to overtrade. That's why I'm making a recap now. Uh, yeah, so let's watch my, I even stopped my recording like right after I stopped here because I said, okay, that's it. I stopped that once. I'm not going to trade again. I gained back my losses, really good profit. Yeah. Uh, it's just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Yeah, trading is tough, like especially if you got stock. But good thing this is just half hour. I think it was half hour, my loss here. And yeah, whatever I gained back here was pretty good. Quick, quick profit. Let's watch. See, I was actually watching Neo, but it was making lower, lower highs. You can see here so it's kind of like short buys i thought it's going to break 1880 i thought it's going to drop more it's a, a a gap down stock but yeah i think everyone was panicking and taking profit uh around 19 dollars. that's why i think it was really strong but i didn't even watch other stocks Let's watch it real time so you so you can see how much like this is FOMO out of FOMO as you can see I'm only at 930.22 there's not much volume I went in and then volume came in uh, only 200,000 so this is not the way I should be trading because uh, volume is only yeah there you go 2.3 million so this is probably I would want to take it long as you can see, it's a green candle, 2.3 million. I probably look at taking a long at this one, risking 20 cents. Yeah, it's a green candle. Yeah, I. This is something that I should be considering as a as a long. Look at that wick, and it's a green candle. There's volume. And I just realized, oh my God, I will get stopped. I will get stopped. I'm too far from VWAP. That's why I have a stop here at 1901, just in case it goes uh, round number. And I was looking at the the time in sales. What it is what is it doing? If not, I'm going to get out 96 or 95. I even put my stop there. There you go. I stopped out. I uh, what's this? I took a long 10 cents, 10 cents, uh, 10 cents risk. It's crazy. Even looking at it now, it made me really, really scared. Imagine if I held that long, uh, that short, this could have been a really bad squeeze. Could have ended up losing big. There you go. So that's one to one already. I haven't taken the full partial. I was taking 10% here, one to one. I said, I'm going to take a good partial at 1918. I don't know where I got the, that. Uh, I 
think it's this one. Yep, there you go. That's where it took profit. Really, really good profit. I should have taken all out here. Really, really good one. Yep, there you go. 1929 is uh, a level that I saw a big order in pre market. Come on, I should have taken. Oh my god, I left a good amount of money there as well. I should have taken more. But yeah, I gained back my loss. But yeah. It's a pretty good. I, I just because I realized I was in early here and I told myself uh, I could be in the wrong side. I don't like flipping anymore. I try not to flip anymore, but I said I'm going to risk it. If I get stopped, stopped here and then I stop with my flip, I'm just going to stop and accept a red day. That was the plan. It was a really, really tight stop. 10 cents. But yeah, there's volume, so there's there's not a problem if you go big size. It's nine million at the first minute, nine million volume. That's crazy compared to AAL. AAL had like it's so I'm almost all out. I should have taken. I should have taken this. I sh I shouldn't have waited for for me to get stopped. I should have. I still have a good amount of profit here. I should have taken it. You know what? It's fine. It's even though it's only 5% left, it's still a good amount of profit. Yeah. Almost stop. Come on, stop me out. Because let's let's look at the other stocks. AAL and CLH. So those are the ones that I was watching. Yeah, I got stopped here somewhere. Yep. Time to move on. I actually wanted to short it, but no, no, no. I said no, 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 no. No shorting. Yeah, let's uh, let's probably watch AAL and what's this? AAL and NCLH because uh, I made a pretty good move as well. Let's let's watch for fun. Yeah, because I'm I'm done with with my NIO after getting stopped. I don't wanna. Look at it. I don't want to over trade as well. Let's look at AAL. Let's see what it did. Let's fast forward this. So it dumped. Uh, 1 million volume. Probably a good 1 minute orb. So probably want to take it at 1350. But it's a round number. But it's probably too late now. Risk maybe, I don't know, risk 10 cents. Probably want to take it short at 1350 instead of 44. Let's see if there's orders 44. Let's see. Is it going to break? Yep, yeah, it's not. Okay, there you go. There's selling pressure. I think, yep, 450. That's where you probably want to short it. Anything that's closer to 50. There you go, there you go. That's a pullback. Short it here, forty nine. Yep, we shorted it at forty nine. Oh, just mentally shorting at forty nine. Let's fast forward this a bit. Forty nine. So, yeah, there you go. Ten cents risk. Forty nine. We'll take profit at forty. If it goes forty, for yeah, there you go. We should take profit there. If I've taken that pro like that trade, right? Thirty-nine. That was a target. That was a one-to-one. -one. Is it gonna drop more? 
Come on. Maybe take a little bit more. There you go. 25%. Maybe take 25% here. Uh, take more because it's not breaking. It's selling off. 50 is our stop. 449 is our stop. It's going to drop. There you go. It's dropping up. Take more profit. <laughs> You can see here I'm looking at I don't look at the candles anymore I look at numbers here there's 2 to 1 28 is previously close it's gonna go there cool yeah 2 to 1 trade 29 is the low of day it's back at uh, it's back at 1 to 1 37 is the price is going Ascending. Let's see if it's gonna flush more. Sometimes you have to be really quick taking profit because sometimes it doesn't go back, like what I did. What happened? Like what I what happened to NIO? It stopped at nineteen twenty nine, and that's it. My level was perfect. There you go. Let's see if it's gonna drop twenty eight. Thirty two. Twenty nine. 33 probably take more profit here there you go is it gonna break yeah there it broke 27 there you go let's probably take profit at 25 come on no it's not breaking because it's previously close I'll probably get all out here yep because it made a new one minute high. You can see here, probably get all out. Yeah, I mean, NCLH didn't really make a really good move. So good thing we picked, we picked AAL, but yeah, it was, uh, so consolidating 38. I think it's gonna drop. I have a feeling it's gonna drop more. That's a normal pullback. Let's see if there's order. Yeah, there you go. There's more orders here. Twenty four. I was almost all out. I was all out here. This normal pullback. Two to one. Yeah, it's as simple as that. But you don't want to overtrade. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm still having FOMO right now because I had two stops. I got stopped out here, stopped out here. Even though if, I've, I, if I didn't make a 10 cent risk here, I'd probably lose. But I don't know why I picked 10 cents instead of 20 cents. It was just sudden, sudden uh, decision. Yeah, I think it was FOMO, over trading, repin trading. But yeah, uh, have a good day, everyone. Happy Friday. And if you like my video, please hit subscribe. If you have any friends who have the same interest, please show them my trading channel. And yeah, if you have any questions, just comment down below and I'll get back to you. Cheers.